Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back. This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mode channel on point reviews all day, every day. Welcome back, guys, to my old subscribers that have been here. Welcome again. Thank you for watching my videos and thank you for perusing the library. I know that a lot of you guys have been messaging me telling me that you've struck gold in this channel. And that's because we have around 300 videos of just a lot of really good niche fragrances, as well as designer fragrances and clones that you guys can peruse. Make sure you check out those playlists. Now today we're going to talk about an absolute 10 out of 10 in my book, okay? I rarely say 10 out of 10 because I am exposed to a lot of fragrances and it's very hard for me to say that something is 10 out of 10. But for me, this one here has always impacted me since the day I've owned it and I'm going to talk about this today. This is none other than Parfums de Marly's Ouajan, all right? This is Parfums de Marly Ouajan. Truly, truly a gem in the fragrance world. We're going to talk about this fragrance today. What can you expect about the smell, the scent itself, the projection, longevity, performance? I know that these are big deal things when we're talking about a Parfums de Marly fragrance. So we're going to talk about this today. Parfums de Marly Awajan. Let's hit the music. guys parfums de marley owajan let's spray a little bit of it right now mm, man mm. oh man i gotta say this that the opening of owajan is probably the biggest glory of owajan all right i think that anybody that's ever tried owajan first try first sniff you're gonna be like damn all right because it is nice. And the thing is, is that you want to keep sniffing it, all right? You want to keep smelling it because it is so good, okay? It is really that good, okay? And if you're not down with the opening of Owajan, you're probably a really weird person because, man, all I got to say is the opening is amazing. Now, talking about the notes of the opening, this one has cinnamon as well as honey and osmanthus, all right? Cinnamon, honey, osmanthus. Cinnamon, we all know, it is a warming, sweet, and spicy note. Uh, here, it is really prevalent from the get-go. The honey, though, is pretty awesome. I have tried other honey fragrances, and it's more like a beeswax or, you know, really thick honey, syrupy honey uh, that you're going to get there. But for Owajan, the honey here is somewhat boozy, all right? That's right. It's somewhat boozy. And that is what causes this amazing reaction when you try Owajan for the first time. You're going to get cinnamon. Yes, warm and spicy and sweet. But then the honey is somewhat boozy. It almost feels like there is some whiskey in this, okay? Well blended in. Boozy type honey. Very interesting right there immediate impact. Now, a lot of people that review Awajan here, they will credit mostly the cinnamon and the honey on this amazing opening. But for me, I will also credit Osmanthus. That's right, the third note on the opening of Awajan. Now, Osmanthus smells like tea, sort of like a black tea, and it's mildly sweet. I think that the Osmanthus here really has a good effect. Every time you get a whiff, that's the reason why the opening is pretty unique. You have somewhat of a boozy uh, honey opening with the cinnamon, but you'll also get a whiff of some mild tea-like scent from the osmanthus. And I believe it is really part of that opening. Oh, man. Spicy. Spicy, sweet, tea-like osmanthus in the end. Again, can't say nothing. 10 out of 10 opening. Now, the sweet and warming aspects of Awajan are further continued by the resin of benzoin, all right, which is it's sort of like an amber type smell. It's an amber type smell, again, warming as well, slightly resinous. And one thing you'll notice about Awajan here is that it is masculine, all right? This is a masculine scent. And how do I know that? It's because of labdanum, all right? So there is labdanum here, which I think that is what provides a masculine tone to a wajan, all right? The labdanum provides a little bit of smoke, a little bit of that burning feel. 
it's hard to completely notice it, but if you try to smell it, you're gonna smell that burning smoky feel of labdanum. Again, makes it a masculine scent. However, I wouldn't say that the labdanum is so pronounced here because there is tonka, okay? So tonka bean is that sort of like cherry almond type smell and it goes over the labdanum. Now, just to clarify, a lot of people are saying that there are some tobacco feels here, okay? Some say there's none, okay? I, from my research, especially with Parfums de Marly, they have stated that tonka bean here can also give off somewhat of a tobacco feel, all right? I wouldn't say that it's as hardcore as the other tobacco fragrances, but it's just a combination, I believe, of tonka bean as well as the labdanum, that smoke from the labdanum, that produces somewhat of a tobacco scent. But is it a tobacco scent? No. Sort of just the same kind of uh, feels, but not exactly the same. So you're gonna get that on this fragrance, again, very masculine. So from the get-go, like I told y'all, warm, spicy, with that nice whiff of osmanthus and some boozy honey, and then some warming benzoin, some smoky labdanum covered in tonka. And then this one also has notes such as ambergris and artemisia, okay? And the artemisia to me, kind of faint. The ambergris here provides a somewhat of a salty push in my opinion. I think that all it does, the ambergris, is to just simply enhance the smell and just balance it out, add a little bit of saltiness to it. Uh, I don't think it's super pronounced, but it's there. But mostly you're gonna get tonka. The tonka is going to envelope this and continue all the way to the dry down. Now, the thing that I will put a stamp of approval here is how crazy the performance is, okay? Owajan, to me, is one of the top performers ever on any perfume, okay? Every time I have worn this, I it was like it was like a strong sillage bomb, very powerful, and it sticks. Okay, this is one of those where once you smell Owajan, you're gonna wish that almost every fragrance you have projects and performs like Owajan. Okay, this one really man stays. Okay, and it stays for a while. Okay. And speaking of longevity, I mean, this one could even go 10 to 12 hours, no joke. I mean, yes, it won't be strong by the 12th hour, but the fact that you will still get smells of it or whiffs of it on the 12th hour is insane, okay? Most fragrances are, you know, usual life is what, five hours. This one, in my opinion, from when I tried it, it just sticks and it stays. And if that's because of the somewhat synthetic nature, hey, I'll take it because this one is an amazing performer. And from mid to dry down, again, you've got that tonka. You're gonna get some vanilla. You're gonna get a tonka vanilla combo on the way to the dry down. And it's only on the super dry down where you're gonna get some musk and patchouli in the end, but mostly you will still smell the vanilla. The vanilla will be there near the end or almost in the end, okay? So sweet, nice, and a great performer. You know, that's basically a wajan. Again, I really recommend this for those that are looking for an exclamation point in fragrances. Somebody that's looking for something to, to really give an impact and to be like, dang, this is freaking good. Like, not one of those guys that are just, you know, collecting and you're trying to just round out a collection. If you want something with impact, you got to get a wajan, okay? And also, I want to say this, that for the ones that want to attract the opposite sex, you gotta get Owajan, okay? You gotta take advantage of this amazing fragrance because this will kick butt, okay? Whether you're single or you're married or you have a girlfriend, get Owajan, trust me. Why? Because it's just sexy. It's inviting. It has the, uh, some sweet and spicy nuances, okay? And it's highly masculine with the labdanum, with the ambergris and the benzoin resins. Uh, it's masculine, it's sexy, it's spicy. I think that if you're a single guy, you're gonna kill it, okay? With Owajan, all right? So make sure you take advantage of this, that this fragrance is around if you are wanting to attract the opposite sex. It's just a combination, in my opinion, of creating a nice impact first impression to the opposite sex, and then at the same time, have the warming, 
qualities of those uh, warming scents that are going to invite that person in. It's going to make them want to hug you on these really cold nights, you know, a light, nice hug or uh, embrace you because it's such an inviting warming scent. They're going to want to smell it on you. Well, until the morning. I definitely want to say that this is uh, something that you got to own. Okay, you got to add this to your collection. The only weird thing about this, I would say, is how I don't use it a lot, which is weird, okay? I'm supposed to because this one is just amazing. I can't say nothing bad. I think it's a 10 out of 10 fragrance. But for some reason, I don't know if this is something that you guys share with me, but sometimes for me, like fragrances that are so perfect and so awesome, I use less of them. I don't know. Maybe I think so highly of them that I don't want to use them that often. I don't know if you guys are on the same boat. Let me know in the comments if you own Awajan and you still rarely use it despite its awesomeness. But I actually don't use it a lot, you know, but I should, you know. And I think that uh, this fragrance here is for rotational purposes, maybe because I'm married, you know what I mean? But if you guys are single, like I said, I'm sure you would be grabbing this, you know, every night out so that you can use it because it's it's pretty deadly, okay? Uh, again, this one is not only sweet and spicy, but it's got some boozy tendencies. It's got some a uh, little bit of that smokiness. It does have some ambergris. It does have warming qualities. So, I mean, it's really a no-brainer. This is 100% bottle worthy in my book. Now, one of the questions that I do get asked is that, you know, should I buy other PDMs that have sort of a sweet tobacco-like smell and own Awajan still, okay? In my opinion, okay, if you do have those other fragrances like Herod or if you have Carlisle, I think first and foremost, try this first, okay? I mean, although I am saying that this is a 10 out of 10 in my book, uh, interestingly, I do have Carlisle and Herod and then I slowly sort of like let those go. Like this is actually, you could say the last of the Mohicans in my collection in terms of those sweet, somewhat tobacco style uh, Parfums de Marly fragrances. This is the last one. So this is the final survivor, okay, in my opinion. Uh, I think that you should try it first. And then if you do, uh, see if you feel any type of redundancy. To me, maybe there was, you know, maybe in a sense that there, there was. There's maybe just a little bit that separates this from those type of fragrances. But I think in my head, uh, in rotation, in my head, I'm thinking that, you know, it's sort of like the same effect. Like, they all sort of do the same effect. They're like sexy, sweet, spicy, somewhat smoky. Um, I think that Owajan can be in that range. So make sure you try this out first. If you do own other things like Herod or if you own Carlisle or even the new Pegasus, make sure you try this out before you do that. Check for any type of redundancy. Again, for me, there was a redundancy in usage. But I mean, come on. I mean, if you are a real lover of Parfums de Marly, then she, I mean, just add them. <laughs> just collect all of them. You know, you're going to be, you're going to be killer anyways. Okay. So to those that own Parfums de Marly Awajan, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts and opinions on Awajan? Do you guys own this? Is this part of your rotation? Have you been waiting till this point to pull it out and use it because it's a little bit cooler now? Well, at least here, it's a little bit cooler. I won't say it's really cold. But have you been waiting to use this in your collection? Let me know in the comments. I mean, for me, this is the right time to do it, okay? I think it's like 50 degrees outside. It's not really super cold, but it's like jacket weather. And uh, man, it's it's really that time to pull this out, okay? Parfums de Marly Owajan. And if you guys are down with Parfums de Marly, make sure you watch my other PDM videos, okay? I got Pegasus Exclusive, I got Carlisle, Habdan, Acaster. Make sure you check those out on my video playlist, okay? And make sure to like and subscribe to this video, all right? And watch the ads. It really does help the channel in a huge way, okay? So thank you for doing that if you have been watching the ads. And again, this is Troy D. I'll see you guys soon for my next PDM review. It's going to be a crazy weekend because we got a lot of fragrances lined up for you guys to watch on this channel. So until then, God bless you guys. Have a great weekend. Take care. See you tomorrow.